This foundation claims to be long wearing, buildable coverage from sheer to medium. It claims to blur, smooth, perfect. It also claims, what was the other thing that it claimed to do? It also claims to have a silky, lightweight feel. For $68, $70, this better freaking do every single thing it promised, okay? I feel very passionate about this right now. If you don't know already, Pat McGrath actually helped create the formula of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation that everybody has been obsessed with for like years. So everybody and their mom has been waiting for Pat McGrath to drop a foundation. So you better know that as soon as it dropped, excuse me, <clears throat> so you better know that as soon as I found out that it dropped, I was booking my way there. We've got the goods. So if you don't know already, this is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I also went ahead and picked up the Hourglass Veil Powder because I've been wanting this for literally years. Everybody has it. Everybody claims that it's freaking amazing. And Pat McGrath was out of her powder, so I wanted to try this product with a luxury powder because I felt like, I don't know, it just felt right, okay? This packaging is literally the fanciest box I think my foundation has ever come in. But I swear, if I paid, $70 for a box. It's not what I'm looking for. So I got the shade Light Medium 11. This will be a good shade for me whenever I am tan, which I am right now. So like my usual wear test, I will be applying the foundation to one side of the face with nothing, no setting powder, anything like that. But I will set this side perfectly like I normally do. So in case you are somebody that does not prep and set their face, you can see how the foundation lasts on its own. But if you are somebody who likes to use that good old bacon, then we can see how it lasts with the powder. I need to take my jacket off though. I don't know how much to start with. Okay, I'm just gonna start with a pump and a half and we will go from there. It said to apply the foundation in layers. So I'm so excited to be putting a Pat McGrath foundation on my face right now. It did recommend either applying it with your fingers or a brush. So I have my brush here. Little AOA Studios $1 brush. Also, I may or may not have stopped at Forever 21 and gotten these sunglasses. What do we think? No big deal? No big deal. It is very thin, like a very, very thin consistency. Okay, I'm gonna tap over this and see if we can like build it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that builds really, really nicely. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That was like bright red. I mean, you can still see it a little bit, but that was actually, it was quite impressive. That's crazy. It's like, so. it's just like, it feels like it's doing whatever I want it to do. This is crazy. I don't think I've ever worked with a foundation like this. Oh my gosh, it like actually looks like, like come close. I have my sister here with me today. <laughs> like it looks like my skin. It does. Like literally just my skin. Like if I had the perfect skin, this, was what, this is what it would look like. It's like there's no texture, like the normal like foundation texture. Right. Even if a foundation has like good texture, it has a texture, but this one feels like where? All you know is that I got bomb skin. Okay, I'm going to apply this side with the sponge or at least attempt. I really feel like the sponge is not gonna work out too well. I feel like it's just gonna eat up all my product. That's why I typically go for brushes, but. And this foundation is water-based, so that's another reason. I feel like it's just gonna eat everything up because with sponges, typically if you have like a really liquidy water-based foundation, they, they just like, they suck all of it up, so. This looks so good. It really depends on what you want more. 
soft, I feel like the Beauty Blender looks more natural even. Like more sheer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if you're that type of person who wants your skin to be peeking through a little bit, then like Beauty Blender is your friend. Yeah, like the no makeup makeup kind of thing. Yeah, I totally agree because this one definitely ate up some of the product. I mean, it wasn't a ton. It actually wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it definitely ate up more of the product than the brush did, obviously. If you are a full, full coverage kind of girl, you're definitely gonna wanna use a brush with this. Obviously this is lower lighting so that you can see a little bit more of like the texture and detail and everything a little bit better. So just freaking look at this, you guys. It's incredible. I can't believe it. Okay, I tried to just do like a tiny amount of concealer on this eye since we're not doing any setting powder. I wanna see how the foundation just kinda of lasts on my cheek by itself, you know? But this one, I just applied everything like normal. Oh, I'm so excited. This is like luxury at its finest. Definitely making the foundation look a little bit wider. I don't know, I need to give it time. I also need to set it with setting spray before I decide what I think about this powder. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. This just felt like, like I said, it did exactly everything that I wanted it to do. It moved where I wanted it to move. It stayed where I wanted it to stay. Like, I don't know, it's witchcraft so far to me. We'll see. Could fall apart in 2.5 seconds and ruin everything. It's just really important to me that this foundation lasts really well because if it doesn't, then I wasted money, which I guess I could return it, but I wasted money and it'll hurt my heart because I love Pat McGrath a whole lot. I'm going to go off of camera and do the rest of my makeup and I will check back in with you guys in a few hours, if not at the end of the night, and we will see how this foundation has lasted throughout the day. What's up guys? So as you can tell by my hair, it is the end of the night. It is past 12.30 at night, so this foundation has been on for about seven hours. Come in closer because y'all need to see the real deal. Here's the stitch. Pretty shiny, right? I'm sure you Sure you guys picked up on that already. I am not somebody that deals with oily skin. Started off pretty glowy, kind of mattified a little bit and that definitely got its shine back. But I will say that it stayed pretty much looking the same for the first probably four to five hours. And then it was the last few hours that it really started to get really shiny. However, it looks both sides look pretty much exactly the same. Hasn't really hardly separated around the nose area, which is really freaking rare. Around the jawline area, because I didn't set with powder and because it is a foundation that is slightly darker than my skin tone to match my tan, then it has gotten a little bit of unevenness around here, but everywhere else it's still perfectly even. However, on the set side, there is no unevenness here um, and it looks the exact same like here up, it looks, and on the chin, it looks exactly the same on both sides, a, like to a T, to a T. Both sides look incredibly skin-like, like just, as long as you have a good primer, you got some good blotting sheets and a good setting powder, I definitely think that even if you have oily skin, you could make this foundation work. If I had a whole kit of all of these foundations, I would use it on everyone, from the driest of the dry to the oiliest of the oily. I fully trust this foundation already. <laughs> even though it's gotten shiny, it has not moved. It has not moved. And it doesn't look like, like how often do you get a foundation that's not like matte and flat, but also lasts for a really long time? That's like <laughs> unheard of. I mean, <laughs> I had such high hopes for this foundation 
And I was like, it was almost to a point where I was like scared that it was gonna break Pat McGrath's name in my head, you know, like having such high hopes. And I was like, I just know that I'm gonna be let down. It's not gonna be that amazing. Now my love, it was, it's like when people say that they have kids and they didn't know that their heart, like they, they could love that much. That's how I feel about Pat McGrath right at this very moment. I was like, I already loved her so much and I didn't know that I could love her this much, but my love for her just grew tenfold. So I'm so excited about this foundation. I'm gonna wear it every freaking day of my life. And that is the end of this video because I just can't, my mind is blown right now. If you would like to see how I make my foundation last all freaking day, make sure to check out this video right here where I share with you all of my tips and tricks and techniques. And I will see you over in that video. Bye. Don't even sleep on this foundation. $68? Girl.